Okay, let's see. Today is Thursday. It is 6 a.m. It's the 17th. I haven't gone to bed yet. I took a shower at 2 a.m. in the morning and I've just been binging YouTube videos ever since, letting my hair dry. Yeah, I haven't touched the camera since Monday, I think, which is when I uploaded my last video. I'm trying to take it easy, I guess. I said I was going to take a break, but I don't I'm not sure how how I'm going about this break. I think it's more of I'm not going to think about what to record i'm just gonna pick up the camera and say whatever and record whatever and not worry too much about it okay so i cut my hair i don't know if you can tell yep i i was feeling pretty crazy today like legit like i don't know what was going through my mind but i went to the bathroom in the middle of it and i just picked up the scissors and started going to town on my hair so I chopped off like 80% of it um, it's pretty short and it's really choppy and a mess still working on my comic just slowly inking away Woo! I managed to finish enough to update yesterday so that's there but I'm slowly getting more done and Holy crap, it's uh, it's really hard. <laughs> I really wish I wasn't doing everything on my own. You know, like writing the episode and drawing the episode and uh, line arting the episode and coloring the episode. I really wish this was more of like a team effort with somebody else because I am already getting burnt out and I don't know how people do it. I I feel like this was easier back in the day when I wasn't so serious about it. <laughs> anyway, this boy looks insane. He needs to look sad, but I don't know how to make him sad. He just looks insane. Thing. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go to bed now and uh, keep working tomorrow. Well, later today because it's it's six twenty-two now and I'm feeling the tiredness. And now that my hair is dry, I can actually go to bed. Where's the sketch layer? I like the sketch more than the line art so far, but... Oh well... Anyway... Anyway, I keep saying anyway, and you know... I can't stop! And... I think I'm just gonna have to... Go on... The movie editing software and cut out all my anyways, because otherwise... This video is just gonna be 80% anyways, you know? Okay, <laughs> Okay, I'll keep recording tomorrow. I'm trying not to take it so seriously anymore. I'm just gonna do whatever, you know, who cares? I'm not, this is not a job. This is something I'm doing in my free time, so... I don't even have to worry about it, you know what I'm saying? I do feel kind of self-conscious though that you guys see my mess and I'm just exposing myself, you know? Hmm... Guess who finally picked up the dollar bills? Today, I am restocking my labels for the charms that say your charm might have a stick it, stick it, <laughs> might have a sticky label and just reminding people to peel it off. dangerous <laughs> I should get like a cutting 
board blade thing but I don't know where to get them I wouldn't really use it much either did my best Do I need a cutting mat? Well, I have one. I just uh, don't want to use it. Ah! Um, doesn't really matter. This table, uh, it doesn't really register the blade. Like I feel it for a little bit and then after a few minutes, it just goes away. So it's not like a... And it's not like I really care about this table. Oh my god! I messed up that one. Can't use that one. Can't read it. Rest in peace. But uh, yeah. Hopefully this will last me until next year. Ooh, there's a lot in here. <laughs> Good. Got a few Etsy orders ready to go here i'm gonna drop those off tomorrow because i need to do laundry tomorrow so i'm gonna take these babies with me when i go do that and here i have a package that was returned to me <sighs> i contacted the person and they haven't said anything so i don't know what to do now well hello I'm not sure when I stopped recording, but it is now October 23rd. I Yesterday I finished drawing the next episode of my comic, so please, if you have time and you're interested, go give it a read. Um, <laughs> I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I feel so lame asking you guys to read my comic, but like for real. I worked so hard on it, so it would be nice if you guys gave it a read. I also, did I already mention that I updated my other comic? So both my comics have been updated in the past week, so that's pretty cool. I am taking a break from comics and I'm gonna work on some art for anime next. I need to finish a postcard um, by the 28th. So I have like four days to get everything done uh, so that I can have time to like make any edits if they want me to. But yeah, so that's what I'm working on. It's the mascots and the theme is food for next year. So we're drawing the mascots in all sorts of food related um, illustrations. I don't know. <laughs> so here it's a bunch of like holiday related foods they didn't want me to be too specific so i have things like cake and uh, fried chicken and turkey and some donuts um, there's candy corn flying around too but i you can't really see it because it's a sketch let me actually turn the i like it more with the blue lines actually but that's just uh, so that i can trace the sketch uh, okay, so I'm gonna work on that today. Um, it is actually 4.44 a.m. and um, I woke up around 8 p.m. so I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. So that's what I'm gonna be doing later. <clears throat> I was cleaning a bit. I cleared out this area. Uh, I put away a bunch of my packa packaging supplies. I made use of one of these 
tote bags. It has extra envelopes and stuff. Um, there, I have a lot of packaging supplies that I'm not even able to use at the moment because I don't have items big enough to put in them. I'm not sure why I bought so many that I wasn't needing. <laughs> I think that's. I think that happened when I first started um, toying with the idea of having an online store. I just kind of went ham and bought a bunch of uh, envelopes that I didn't even know if I was going to need and I actually didn't really need them. So I need to start thinking of products to sell that are kind of bigger than what I have so that they can fit in the larger envelopes. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to brainstorm some, some stuff. Um, let's see what else happened. I packaged some orders here, ready to go out uh, in a few hours. I'm gonna go drop them off. I found a bunch of stickers that I had, so I'm just using them on my packages. These ones are like egg related ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ordered some posters. So I'm gonna be at Anime NYC, but I'm not gonna be in the artist alley. So if you want to find me, you're gonna have to find me in the dealers. I'll let you know my booth um, later, maybe when it's closer to the con. But um, I ordered some original posters. I finally formatted all of these into a poster, I guess, format. And I'm getting them printed in this size, which is pretty big. It's like my large size poster. I'm just having a few of them printed so that I can use them for display. When you sell in dealers, it's usually best to have some amount of original art. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'll still have all my other stuff. I just, <clears throat> it'll just be um, not as flashy as I would do it if I was in the artist alley. <laughs> Uh, there are some boxes here I still need to sort through, um, but it's looking much cleaner than before. I, I, I'm not as anxious about it. Okay, not much else has happened really. I just worked on the comic and that's, that's it. And I cleaned. I've been watching a lot of episodes of Hoarders, you know, the ones that like, they collect a lot of stuff and just collect garbage. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm fascinated by those types of shows, so I watch them, and then I end up cleaning my place whenever I watch orders. I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to end up like that. No. So after watching, I end up, like, just looking through all my stuff and getting rid of a bunch of things that I don't need and I'm not gonna use. I would throw away most of this paper because I don't... I don't really use it. I don't know why I bought it all, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start using all this paper as backing for prints and stuff like when I sell mini prints in my online store or like stickers. I'm just gonna cut it in pieces and use it as backing. I've already started doing that. So I have some paper here that's already cut. I know it's kind of like it's kind of a waste for good paper to be used in that sense but I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not creating traditional work so all this paper is just gonna go to waste so I'm just gonna use it as backing for stuff and um, speaking of that speaking of backing for stuff I've been using it for backings on my patreon rewards because I send out just like stickers and, and one mini print so I use this to make it more sturdy in the mail. Um, I got two extra orders, not orders, I got two extra Patreon people this month. So, but I already packaged their stuff and sent it off. Um, I don't have anything new to package, but this is all I have left. I have, I have these lonely, lonely boys left. Well, she's a girl, but they're all boys <laughs> in my heart. I have this set of stickers from last month that didn't get a home, so I'm just keeping it here. 
And then this month, there's also one set without a home. There's still a week left. If anybody wants to pledge to the $12 tier, you can still get these red and pink ones. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Um, <clears throat> man, I haven't like talked at all in a few days. So talking right now, my throat feels a little weird. <laughs> So I don't know if it's because I haven't spoken in a while or if it's because I'm kind of sick. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna get back to work because I really should have this illustration done as soon as possible because I'm taking way too long. By the way... I haven't really mentioned and I didn't actually reply to any comments that were left on my last video but I did read them all and I really appreciated uh, what you guys had to say I just uh, I didn't know what to reply to some of them so I just <laughs> ended up not saying anything but truly I really appreciated <laughs> some of those comments just made me really happy and others almost made me cry i don't know they were just so touching especially the ones that talked about how um when you put me on it's like you're hanging out with a friend or something because i feel like that's also what i i i can relate to that because i watch some people and uh it whenever i watch them it's just like you know just catching up with a friend <laughs> no big deal <laughs> even though they don't know me and and I really don't know them, I just know whatever they post. But it's a little comforting in a way. And yeah, I just wanted to uh, mention that. Um, just to acknowledge that I did read what you guys had to say. And it made me pretty happy. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to record... Um, me saying something that I want to get across but it's just not really coming out I feel like <laughs> I'm really limited when it comes to my speech um, abilities I suppose like I don't think oh okay that was my dehumidifier it was time for me to dump all the water out but uh, what was I saying? Okay, I think I was saying something along the lines of that I'm not good at talking. <laughs> uh, I've never been good at talking. I have no idea how to hold a conversation. I am socially awkward. I don't, I really don't know how to keep conversations going. I don't know how to start conversations. It's just, it's something I've always been really insecure about. So, and it really shows when I'm trying to keep the vlogs interesting. I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. And when I'm trying to say something, it doesn't come out right. And I have to keep um, stopping the recording and then starting over. Trying my best to get my point across. It's just really hard for me. And I don't know if it has to do with the fact that English is not my first language. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But like, I also can't articulate my words pretty well in Spanish. So I don't. I think it's just the, my brain. I'm not. I'm just not good at at, um, <laughs> at conversating. Is that even a word? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real English word. Anyway, um, I guess it's something really personal that I felt like sharing. Like, I, it's something really frustrating to me. Like, it, I take it, I take it so personally that I can't keep a conversation going. That I get really upset, and I've cried about it in the past because I feel like I'm trapped inside my own body when I can't communicate with people the way that I wish I could, and it makes me really upset that I just can't do something that somebody else is able to do so well. Anyway, I'm getting 
Okay, I feel like I'm getting too dark uh, with the topic here, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just having thoughts. I'm just having thoughts and it's really hard to line art with one hand so I'm gonna put the camera down and try to finish um, this is taking a long time yes hello what the heck she just started talking to me okay Siri I didn't even say Siri it, it looks like it says that somebody said hey and that triggered her <laughs> it's okay no girl go back to sleep i forgot to keep recording but i am kind of coloring but i'm not done with the line art yet i'm just i'm just all over the place right now <laughs> it's 8 15 a.m and i've been working on this all night granted i was really distracted the whole time so i've been doing other things um, I also moved Instagram accounts so if you were following me um, I've moved let me pull up my new account I've been wanting to make a new account for all of this year honestly because I've had my old account for a long time and I've been inactive in it like a lot and I, f I don't I just don't like having all my baggage in that account so I'm making a new one I, I <clears throat> if you follow me on my old account I already changed everything and there's this post there you can click through and go to my new account which is this one right here Maracuyas with two A's and two S. This is <laughs> Maracuyas. <laughs> um, I I will eventually get my old handle back. I think because I have lavender eyes like on all my cards for this year. So I don't I don't think I want to lose that handle um, yet. So, but um. Uh, Instagram has this thing where like if you change your name you have to wait like a couple of weeks to be able to grab it again in a different account so I'm waiting for that to go by um, hopefully I'm able to snatch it back when it's available and um, keep my old handle name but I am switching accounts so if you want to keep following me on Instagram make sure to follow me once again on this account because I'm, I'm not gonna post anymore in my old one and um, yeah I've just I've been meaning to do this for a while because <clears throat> uh, this old account is super old and most of my followers on this account are like so inactive and it's just it bothers me <laughs> I don't know I really I like to start fresh with things and I feel like this year has been the year where I've started fresh with a bunch of things like with YouTube I started my new channel my not not well it was an old account but I started a new thing on YouTube I guess with vlogs and stuff and I kind of did the same with Twitter um, last year I feel like I'm always just deleting and starting over. I don't know. It's it's like an impulsive thing that I have that I can't. It just makes me feel better. So, so yeah, that's happening. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working now because I really want to finish this today um, so I can move on to other things. I'm liking how it's looking though. It's really cutesy. <laughs> Let me put my colors in the back so I can see where I'm going. I still haven't um, done the line art for all of it. I think I have some foods that still need line art like over here. And I need to draw the background and... Okay, I'm gonna keep working. <laughs> Whoa, it's my posters, dude. <laughs> I totally forgot about them. I didn't think they would come so fast. 
um, it looks like they changed the way they ship their stuff well, it's the same packaging but on the inside the tubes are taped to the bottom and I don't know if that it's actually helping but so far it looks like the posters are coming in better shape than they did in the past but I've only opened one so we'll see after I open all eight but let me see let me show you what this one is this is the one of Sunder and Asher on the chair and I put the logos on it so that you know you know where it's from and then it has a little illustration by the artist that drew it I have two of these because I, I I'm not I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna keep selling these forever so I just made a couple <laughs> a couple of each um, just in case they're not gonna be sold for too much I think uh, maybe like $20 each I know they're huge <laughs> they usually would sell for like 35 if they were like fan art but because they're original characters I don't want to sell them for too much okay got the next one pretty nice I really like it oh my gosh I feel like they've improved their quality quite a bit um yeah this one was taped to the box as well so the corners are not as beat up as previous posters that i've gotten in the past it seems like they're learning how to ship their stuff oh i really like this one the colors came out real nice there's a logo in the illustrator oh my gosh i love them they're beautiful this one also came with better edges not smashed or anything next poster I got a paper cut trying to open it can you focus on my pain please oh my god look at it ah it felt terrible <laughs> anyway poster number four ah Ooh, it's so cute. Illustrator's name. Can we get a. There we go. Atuo Maru. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't bleed on these posters. <laughs> uh, okay. This is one of my favorite Leo Center pictures looks pretty good the credit is here on the corner by the way these artists that I commissioned and got their permission to sell their work um, they, some of them they didn't even require me to credit them but I mean like I feel like I should <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. All of them have the artist's name somewhere in the print. Um, so people can know who made the art. And look them up if they wish. Um, but yeah, usually when you get a commercial commission, you're not necessarily required to credit the artist, but it's always, I feel, like a nice thing to do for them here's the next one and I'm actually just cutting these rubber bands so that I can open it because trying to take it off with my fingers um, that's how I got that paper cut so and it, it felt really awful let's see what's this one? Oh. Pinch you here. Ooh. This one's so cute. This one's so pink. <clears throat> For this one, this is a really old artwork that I got permission to use recently. And because it's so old, 
the resolution was real bad so I had to take it into clip studio and just do a complete restoration on it so right now it's not it's not it's not so bad if you look at it up close it's a tiny bit blurry but it looks like it was blurry on purpose like um, artistic blurry you know how some drawings are kind of blurry on purpose a little bit like paintery blurry that's how that's what it that's what it looks like when you look at it up close but um, it's the best I could do to make this picture acceptable to be printed in such a large, large size I'm surprised I was able to restore it the way that I did um, I feel like uh, editing programs like Photoshop and Clip Studio make it too easy to do stuff like this which is great if you're using it for the right reasons but I'm so sure that like bootleg people you know who steal artwork and sell it on their own um, they probably use this technology as well and it's, it really sucks but what can you do next boy I am loving this new type of shipping they're using there's barely any bends in the corners I am so happy and I feel more comfortable ordering for them in, from them in the future so there is that sorry you keep seeing my feet I don't have enough arms and hands to do this one. next up What's this one? Ooh. Ah, this is the Rosa one. Ooh. This was the very first commercial commission that I got. It's so beautiful. I love it. The details are so nice. Ah, I wonder if I'll ever be able to get another commission from her. I highly doubt it though. <laughs> This was a pretty lucky get. It was during the time that she wasn't so busy and the only reason she accepted my request to draw a commission for me was because she kind of knew me from way back in the DeviantArt days. So she was familiar with my characters and she accepted my offer. But she did tell me that she didn't usually do commissions for people who aren't video games or game or like um, visual novels or whatever. So I felt pretty lucky. Last one. Okay, last poster. Ooh. Yes, I love this one. This is one of my favorite illustrations of them. So so cute! Ah! Here's the logo, and we have the artist name here. Beautiful. I love it. I love them so much. I can't wait to use them in my display. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, nobody's gonna know what they're from, but my booth is gonna look cute. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Here's all my babes. Anyway, I want to find a place for these rubber bands because uh, I threw away all my rubber bands the other day. So I don't have any and now I would like to have some rubber bands just in case. I'm going to keep them in this container over here. Okay. Ah, rubber band container. But anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to these people for pledging on Patreon. Your support helped me make this video as well as the comics that I uplo uploaded this month. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I've been thinking about changing some stuff that I do on Patreon, but I'll talk about that later. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.